Hello, everyone. Welcome to Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. I'm Scott Jordan. This is Arena Championship Series Central at the All-State Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. Here is your driver lineup. It's our fifth event here. Weston Anderson has three overall event championships. Jamie Sullivan with one in this star-studded lineup. Four competitions today. All these eight superstars vying for the overall event championship. JCB Racing is first. Monster Mutt Dalmatian, Stone Crusher, Just Get Her Done, Grave Digger, Zombie Scooby-Doo, and Megalodon El Toro Loco will all meet in round one. Now let's get down to the track for our first race of the day. Alex Barden in Stone Crusher pulls up to the line. His opponent across the track, Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She has a racing win already here this week, and we got our first green light, and we are off and running here at the All-State Arena. Great corner for Stone Crusher, but Jamie Sullivan, one-two punch, and she's got the advantage. Final turn, and Jamie Sullivan gets the win. Monster Mutt Dalmatian moving on in our JCB Racing Competition. Next up, Weston Anderson in Gravedigger, and he goes up against Brandon Talutchka and just get her done. Weston has won the last three racing competitions on this series, trying to make it four in a row. Gravedigger is off, just get her done up on three wheels. Straight away here for Gravedigger, around the turn we go. Brandon Talutchka goes deep, there goes the turning box. Out of the chalk line, that'll be a penalty, and Brandon Talutchka, just get her done, advances to the semis. Next up at a Sullivan, Illinois, Brianna Mahad in Scooby-Doo. And her opponent, the longtime veteran of Monster Jam, Frank Kribble in Zombie. Scooby-Doo off the line, Zombie off as well. Frank Kribble break checks a little bit to avoid the turning box. Brianna Mahad is a great lane right now on the racetrack, and she's got the win. Scooby-Doo advances a little far to the right, crosses the finish line nonetheless. And Brianna Mahad moving on. Our final round one race, the rookie sensation, Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco, against second generation driver, Michaela Talachka in Megalodon. Front clip off of El Toro Loco after four grueling events already here at Allstate Arena. And we got our final green light here in round one, Fernando Martinez slinging El Toro Loco around the track. Another great turn, just misses the turning box. And El Toro Loco is going to advance to the semi-final round as Fernando Martinez continues his great rookie season. Let's take a look at our semifinal bracket for JCB Racing. Monster Mutt Dalmatian meets Just Get Her Done. Scooby-Doo meets El Toro Loco. The two winners of these races move up to the pod and will advance to the final round. Eight points on the line in JCB Racing. Up first in the semis out of Kiwani, Wisconsin. Brandon Talutchka, Just Get Her Done. And he goes up against J.B. Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Light has gone green. Brandon Talutchka off the line. J.B. Sullivan been on absolute rails here. And Rosemont. And Jamie Sullivan, another great corner here. Monster Mutt Dalmatian finishes strong across the finish line. And Jamie Sullivan gets the win. Monster Mutt Dalmatian leading the dog pound to the finals. Next up here in the semis, Fernando Martinez, El Toro Loco against Brianna Mahad in Scooby-Doo. Jamie Sullivan awaits on the pod. Here goes Fernando Martinez again, just slinging this truck around. But Brianna Mahad not to be outdone, has a great lane. Up on three wheels goes El Toro Loco. And Brianna Mahad, Scooby-Doo gets the win. And she will move on to meet Jamie Sullivan in the final round. What a matchup that's going to be as we check out our racing bracket. It will be Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, up against Brianna Mahan in Scooby-Doo. The winner gets the first eight points and takes the lead in her BKT overall point standings. Two of the top female superstars in Monster Jam, Brianna Mahan, Jamie Sullivan. Only one can cross the finish line first to be our JCB Racing winner. Brianna Mahan has to check it up a little bit. Jamie Sullivan clips the pod with the back wheel, not slowing her down at all. To the finish line, Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Gets the win. What a race. What a final. And what a racing bracket it was here to begin our fifth event in Rosemont, Illinois at the All-State Arena. So Jamie Sullivan's second racing win of the weekend gets her the first eight points of the day. She checks in at number one on our BKT overall point standings. Brianna Mahad with seven. Fernando Martinez, Brandon Talachka each with four. And then down the bottom, Stone Crusher, Grave Digger, Zombie, and Megalodon each with two. One competition down, three more still to come. Weston Anderson want to climb back up the top of that leaderboard. So Jamie Sullivan has Monster Mutt Dalmatian on top early, but will the dog pound reign in Rosemont? Find out next on Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. Welcome back to Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master from Rosemont, Illinois. 
Next up is a Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Each driver has the opportunity to wow the crowd with their best maneuver using only two wheels. They get two attempts to do so. They are scored by fans in attendance on creativity, skill, and execution. And here is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger laying one up over the log stack, gets it to the nose wheelie, edges it right back over that lip of that pod, loses absolutely nothing, hits it right into reverse, and now slides it all the way down the ramp. What a catch for Weston Anderson. He goes up for attempt number two into a popper. And there's the black and green wrecking machine, the red headlights. He's trying to get this thing on a one wheel. Almost had it. Almost had it again. He's crawling his way up to the lip, the lip of that ramp here, which is a big drop off when you go in reverse. Weston Anderson can't get up over it. Still gets a great move, an 8.859 for Gravedigger. Our racing winner, Jamie Sullivan, trying to make it two in a row. Comes right across the ramp, goes for a popper. Pops the back two wheels up into a nose wheelie. And now gonna look to stop this thing on a dime. She's got Monster Mutt Dalmatian now into a moonwalk. That ramp right behind her. Can she get the two wheels all the way up? Unfortunately, not still a great moonwalk nose wheelie combo. And now into a second attempt. Comes right down into a stoppy. Tries to get it back up with a moonwalk. 7.931 for Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Brianna Mahad in Scooby-Doo after a great racing competition going for her first win in the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Another attempt gets a popper in Scooby-Doo. Almost over, does it, able to catch it back into reverse, into the moonwalk, and then pops it back up into a small wheel at combo 6.941 for Scooby-Doo. And finally, Fernando Martinez comes up with El Toro Loco onto the pot, pops it up, big popper. Biggest one so far, the competition catches it into a stoppy right there by that chalk line on the turning pot, has control, and now Moon walks it back up. There's that drop. It doesn't stop El Toro Loco wheelie combo as he comes back up in reverse, back on the wheelie bar, and now continues to slide El Toro Loco across the track. What a move for the young kid out of Rialto, California. Still got one attempt to go here. Fernando Martinez comes all the way across the pot again into a popper, right into a stoppy. Same spot as the last attempt. And he's got another good one going. Moon walks it back up again, drops it into a pogo bounce. Has the steer working, front steer, rear steer, 9.606. It doesn't matter which steer he's using. Fernando Martinez with a great score, and Fernando Martinez gets the win. That's his second skills win of the week. And as we check out our BKT overall point standings, Jamie Sullivan maintains the lead with 14. Fernando Martinez, Brianna Mahan, each with 12. Weston Anderson rises with nine. Stone Crusher just get her done with six. And Megalodon and Zombie round out the field. We got a good one going here in Rosemont. Two competitions left. We'll be back with the second half of Arena and 30 powered by Spinmaster next. You're watching Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. This is Arena Championship Series Central. And next up here at the All-State Arena is the Sky Wheelie Competition. To win this competition, drivers have to conquer the laws of physics and achieve the best vertical position and height to beat their fellow competitors. Fernando Martinez right up over, gets a nice bounce, catches it, 8.691. Fans here in Rosemont scoring based on a height of the truck and execution. Brandon Talashka just get her done. Vertical sky wheelie truck at 180 degrees gets a wheelie on the back side of the combo. Beautiful sky wheelie for just get her done. Weston Anderson still looking for his first win of the day here at Grave Digger. The red headlights going, gets the back side of that truck all the way down, slides it across and into a sidewall, trying to get the bicycle save. Can't make the save, does take the lead with an 8.963. And finally, Jamie Sullivan, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, what a day she is having. Gets the sky wheelie again. She goes over into a cartwheel and runs out of ramp, can't make the save, 8.696 which means Weston Anderson gets his first win of the day, and Gravedigger starting to climb back up that leaderboard as right now we check out our third BKT overall point standings. Monster Mutt Dalmatian still has a lead with 21, El Toro Loco with 18. There's Gravedigger sliding in with 17, Scooby-Doo with 15, and Just Get Her Done with 11, Stone Crusher 10, Megalodon 6, and Zombie with 5 points. We've reached the final competition of the event. It's freestyle. To get a score, drivers must complete the first 15 seconds of their run. Fans want to see him use every obstacle on the six-sided pod, want to see creativity, technical moves, combinations, and, of course, a wow moment or two. And up first, it is Frank Krimmel in Zombie.
Every old school Monster Jam fan knows Frank Krimmel out of Roseville, Michigan, riding right now for Monster Trucks Unlimited. That zombie body on the hook chassis here as Frank Krimmel slides down over the pod. As I mentioned at the top of this competition, you got to make use of everything here in the arenas. You got to be creative. Not a lot of room here, but Frank Krimmel goes deep, gets some nice room here, comes back, accelerates over the log stack, and drops zombie on the pod. Back again, climbs up, looking for a short sky wheelie, able to get it. Zombie Nation out here. The Dog Pound is here. The Black and Green Wrecking Machine, Grave Digger fans, El Toro Loco Nation, you name it, fans all over are here at the Rosemont to support Monster Jam and their favorite superstars. And that'll do it for Zombie as we check out the original Super Glue glued to the action replay. Zombie comes up, break check, sky wheelie, gets the bounce, nose down, and gets a score of 6.754. Next up at Kiwani, Wisconsin second generation driver Brandon Talachka in Just Get Her Done. Sister Michaela, driver of Megalodon, dad Mitch, their crew chief, the former UNOH technician of the year, running in the family here. Now Brandon Talachka looking for his first competition win in the freestyle event. Has a skills win to start the weekend off and goes right into the Packers' peak. Brandon Talachka wasting no time off the ramp. He has this truck dialed in. There's the rear steer. You can tell by the back two wheels going the opposite direction. And Brandon Talaska now needs to build on this momentum and get another wow moment in. He can take the freestyle lead right here. Comes off the double log stack right down the ramp. And Brandon Talaska again, some nice air comes down the other side of the ramp as well. Slings just get her done back around. Look at the jumps, the brake check here. Full awareness on the track where he's at on the pod. Has enough room to make a turn. Keeps his momentum and hits the throttle again. Goes off a little to the right, trying to cross thread. Time winding down here for just get her done. Brandon Talachka again with a brake check. Climbing up over that double log stack. Thought he was going into a donut, runs out of time. You check out the super glue, glued to the action replay. There is Packers Peak. Gets the truck perfectly down, nose on the dirt, and just keeps it there for as long as he wants, 7.658. And Brandon Talushka takes the lead. Next up, it's Alex Barden in Stone Crusher, the 27-year-old out of Rockport, Texas. Riding for Monster Trucks Unlimited, the independent team based out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, owned by Steve Sims. We see a lot of stories in Monster Jam with these drivers coming in, fans as kids. Alex is no different, attended his first event when he was four years old at the Astrodome in Houston and debuted back in 2019 in Red Bear and for two extreme motorsports, the team owned by two-time World Finals champion Jimmy Creighton. So here's another kid just like Fernando Martinez as well, just lifelong fans grew up watching the sport and turned their dreams into a career. Alex Barton trying to get the stop. He is able to get it up for a little bit. And now Stone Crusher comes back again. No brake check there. Keeps the momentum going. And just sliding all over this track here. The dirt's starting to roost up a little bit in Rosemont. There goes Alex Barton. Doesn't get a whole lot of air. Maybe a stoppy here. Exactly what he's going for. He's got one. Alex Barton all the way across. Telegraph that with his 12,000-pound Stone Crusher Monster Jam truck. And he had a beautiful combo move there. That'll do it. Take a look at the original Super Glue. Glued to the action replay. Off the law. Goes right up. Bounces it down 6.951 for Stone Crusher. We still got a long way to go in freestyle, and the event championship will be crowned next on Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. You're watching Arena in 30, powered by Spin Master. This is Arena Championship Series Central from the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. Our next competitor out of Christmas, Florida, second year driver, Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She is the current overall event leader, leading by three over El Toro Loco and four over Gravedigger. She has had a solid weekend, winning the first overall event championship. She's in a great spot to win her second one right here. Needs a good freestyle run to keep Fernando Martinez and Weston Anderson away from the BKT overall event lead. There's your score to beat, 7.658. Brandon Talashka, look at the air from Masrama Dalmatian. Slides it on the front two wheels. Gets the nose of that dog down, saves it. And one big-time jump after another for Jamie Sullivan. 
She's got a lot at stake here. She knows it, and she is showing it on the track. The nose barely hanging on by a thread of Monster Mutt Dalmatian. J.B. Sullivan feeling the rhythm here in All-State Arena. Comes down again. Slap wheelie combo. There goes the nose, and the tongue is out. The tail is wagging for Monster Mutt Dalmatian. What a run for J.B. Sullivan so far. Here is the super glue replay, and that is the run of the day so far, 9.065. And Jamie Sullivan trying to get that overall event championship. We are not done yet in freestyle right now. Michaela Talachka in Megalodon not going to try to be outdone here. We got a lot of top female superstars on this series. We have seen a rise in women competitors in Monster Jam, and they are absolutely winning at every single level, whether it's arenas or stadiums, any given night. One of these female superstars will walk away with that overall event championship. Michaela Talachka looking for the first one of her career, looking for her first win of the weekend as she brings Megalodon back down, getting a little wobbly on the landing. She's got great track awareness there, able to catch it, keep the truck centered, and keep control of Megalodon. Now Michaela slow rolling the truck back down, looking for a stoppy here. She gets one, tries to moonwalk, and she does get a moonwalk right back onto the center of the pod and still has a little more room to work with. Michaela really trying to elevate her game in the two-wheel skills challenge as well as freestyle and learn some technical aspects, throw in some of these technical combination moves. And that'll do it for Megalodon. Here is the super glue, glue to the action replay. Michaela Talashka comes up, skies the truck, lands it right at the edge and gets a 6.912. Here is the princess of carnage, Brianna Mahad in Scooby-Doo. What a season she has had so far. She is second on this series to Weston Anderson when it comes to freestyle wins, reaching double digit wins once again in her career. Seeing a lot of these truck body parts just flying off. That's what five events will do for you here. Four competitions each. And as a shout out to these hardworking UNOH Monster Jam technicians keeping these trucks ready for all of this carnage on the track. And Brianna Mahan, no stranger to Carnage. That's why she got the nickname, the Princess of Carnage. She is just laying Scooby-Doo out right now on the track. Try to shed the back end of that body. He's a great look at the tail and the inner workings of the chassis. The Monster Champ truck sky wheelie for Brianna Mahan. Lands it on the back pogo bounce on the rear BKT tires. What a move for Brianna Mahan. She has got the momentum right now and the adrenaline pump and wheelie combo. Again, catching it on the BKT tires. Great traction here in the arenas. One wheelie after another slap wheelie combo for Scooby-Doo. Check out the original super glue. Glued to the action replay. What a view. Uh, that Sky Wheelie, 8.602 for Brianna Mahan. Next up out of Rialto, California, rookie sensation, Fernando Martinez. And I know rookie sensation is a term used a lot in sports for incredible rookie athletes, but Fernando Martinez is one heck of a story. He is a former Rings of Rods player. He learned how to drive a Monster Jam truck using these simulators. Got a chance at Monster Jam University as we see some of the skill he learned there. Had to go back a second time, was not happy with his performance, and was able to ace it the second time in. Now has a spot on El Toro Loco's team, and he is absolutely destroying the competition all season long, and a heavy favorite for Monster Jam Rookie of the Year. He's got one competition win so far this weekend, winning the Great Clips Two-Wheel Skills Challenge. Freestyle has been the only competition that's really eluded him as we see a great slap wheelie combo. It's the one competition he has not really had a lot of success in. And he said when I chatted with him on Inside Monster Jam that he is learning it, he is figuring it out. And through the second half of this season, he has gotten a lot better. His average has gone up to nearly 7.875. Fernando Martinez, one combination move after another. We see poppers, we see stoppies, and we see El Toro Loco now. The smoke coming out of the back end of that truck. Transmission heating up as El Toro Loco trying to get something going here for a wow moment. There's a big time popper cross threading off the side of this pod. Brake checks just in time. Fernando Martinez again with El Toro Loco. Floater jump on the edge of the pod. Comes down on the side, almost bicycling his way to a landing. And now we check out the original super glue. Glued to the action replay. There's the stoppy nose wheelie combo. And there is our new leader, 9.242. El Toro Loco leads our freestyle competition. What a run for Fernando Martinez. And what a story it would be to get his freestyle win here. 
A driver with no shortage of freestyle wins in his short career, Weston Anderson in Grave Digger, our final competitor. He leads the series in freestyle wins. And after being eliminated in round one of racing, he has turned it on to another level. There's your score to be 9.242. So far this weekend through four events, Weston has two freestyle wins. The other two have gone to Brianna Mahan. A third one here could get in the overall event championship as J.B. Sullivan watches and waits. Break check. Floater jump there for Gravedigger. And here comes the backflip. The eight pack for Weston Anderson. He goes up. He lands it beautifully into a moonwalk. That is the move of the day. Maybe the move of the year for Weston Anderson. Check out the original super glue glue to the action replay. Comes in with the eight pack, skies it, break check in the middle, sends it, beautiful landing right on the bounce into the moonwalk, 9.628, and Weston Anderson takes the lead, and Weston Anderson gets the win. What a way to finish out the competition, and what a way to close out a beautiful weekend here at the Allstate Arena. Fans letting him hear it, and rightly so. Weston's second win of the day gets him eight more points as we check out our final BKT overall point standings. Jamie Sullivan gets a win with 27. Gravedigger, El Toro Loco each with 25. Scooby-Doo gets 20. And Just Get Her Done rounds out the top five with 15. Right now, let's go down to the track to hear from our overall event winner, Monster Rock Dalmatians, Jamie Sullivan. Jamie Sullivan. Nick's over there still celebrating. The crowd is electric. They're on their feet for you here in Rosemont. How does this feel? It's been a long, weekend to say the least. It's so incredible. Rosemont has been so great. We started off the weekend with a racing win and an overall event win, and we're finishing it off the exact same way. Nick has worked his butt off, these UNOH technicians in the back. It is so incredible to be here and to actually pick it up some overall event wins in my second year of Monster Jam. I mean, it's honestly awesome. You guys are so amazing. Rosemont, you heard that. I need you to make some noise for Jamie Sullivan, your overall event champion, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Thank you, Taylor. The rise of Jamie Sullivan continues here at Rosemont as she bookends the weekend with the overall event championships. Dominant on the racetrack, consistent today. Never finishing outside the top three. That sends her back to Christmas, Florida with a little more hardware. Be sure to follow us on social media at Monster Jam and head to MonsterJam.com for tickets and everything sport-related. I'm Scott Jordan. I will see you right here next time on Arena in 30, powered by Spinmaster.